Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to show you guys how I made this adorable Starbucks cup. So if you're curious to see how I painted this with acrylic paint and made it dishwasher safe, keep watching. All right guys, so for this craft, you're going to need a few things. You're going to need your Starbucks cup or whatever you're painting on, this dishwasher safe Mod Podge. I could not find this at Walmart. They were out of it. Hobby Lobby, Michaels. I could not find it anywhere. I don't know if everyone was just out of stock at the time or what, but I ordered this off of Amazon. So I will be sure to link that in the description for you guys. You're also going to need whatever paint you're using. These are all the Apple Barrel brand. And I believe I get these at Walmart and they are super cheap. And then paint brushes a plate to put my paint on and some napkins. If I was switching a bunch of different colors, I would also get a cup of water, but because I'm going to kind of blend these and you'll see what I'm talking about in a second, I am just using a napkin. So let's get started. Okay, so now I have my paints here and I'm ready to start painting. So my thought is I'm going to basically just be painting flowers, but I'm gonna be doing kind of like an ombre. So the middle of the flower is gonna be the darkest. Then I'm gonna mix this color with a little bit of white and just work my way out getting lighter. So that's what I'm doing here. So I'm just going to start kind of mixing my colors here. All right, so I'm ready to start painting now. So I just like to put the cup over my hand and then I'll just kind of use my hand and turn it as I need to. And I really don't have any like method to this. I'm just kind of going for it. Like most of the crafts I do. <laughs> And I'm making this cut for my daughter, so I think she'll like it, even if I don't think it looks the best. <laughs> I think she'll like it, but we'll see how it turns out. I may have to add layers. I don't really know yet. I wasn't sure how this paint was going to dry because on these Starbucks cups, it's kind of like a matte finish. So I was kind of worried about how that was going to dry. I'm gonna try to do the other way just to see so I'm gonna start on the outside and work my way in probably should have been doing that this whole time what do you think So now I am going to just put a couple of like small flowers. Okay, so I finished painting all the flowers on it. So now I'm just going to fill in some of these spaces and I'm just going to be putting some like little kind of like polka dots just to make it kind of cute and fun.
So I'm gonna let this dry for about an hour or so, maybe a little bit longer, um, just until this is not wet anymore. And then I'll show you guys what I'm gonna do next. All right guys, so the flowers on our cups are dry. You could leave the flowers like this if you wanted to, but y'all know me, I just have to go above and beyond. So I have a white fine tip paint marker and I am just going to add some details to some of these flowers. So we have finished painting our cup and adding all of the little details. So now I'm gonna let this dry before I put my layer of dishwasher safe Mod Podge. All right guys, so our cup is completely dry. So now we are gonna coat the cup. We've completely coated our cup, so now we are just going to leave it setting for probably a couple hours just so that it's completely dried before we add our second layer. Okay, you guys, so it has actually been three hours and this is finally dry to the touch. So I'm going to go ahead and put my second coat of the Dishwasher Safe Mod Podge on. So we have our second coat on. So now I'm gonna put this down and let this dry for another three hours or so. And I will show you guys what it looks like. We may have to put a third coat on, I'm not sure. We will see how this comes out. All right guys, so I ended up actually putting two more coats of the Mod Podge on it. So this cup has a total of four layers of the Mod Podge. Um, as you can see, my flowers are completely sealed in. It does have a little bit of shine to it, but it's not like super glossy. But I'm definitely happy with how this turned out and I think my daughter is going to love this. Isn't she so cute, you guys? I think my daughter is going to love her. So as always, if you have any questions or comments, just drop a comment below. Let me know that you like this video by giving me a big thumbs up and don't forget to click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any other crafting tutorials.